Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's Friday. We made it. We made it. We made it to the weekend. Congratulations. Thanks for showing up. Hey, uh, typically on Friday, sometimes, not always, but I try to, uh, do a magic book review on Friday because if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you know I'm a huge advocate for the magic book. And uh, I also did a magic book review over on the members section as well. You can join this channel for $1.99 a month and get eight extra videos. There's a link underneath this video where it says join. Uh, click that and you'll get all the information. If you like magic reviews, if you like playing cards, if you like giveaways, I do all that. I do all that here on the channel day after day after day. So give me a like, a follow, a subscribe, hit all those buttons, do the clickety clack on the interwebs that you know how to do. Today we're looking at the Bermuda Trio. This is a booklet from Simon Lavelle and Kmar Magic. Now, if you don't know who Simon Lavelle is, Simon Lavelle, well, actually I have one of his books. Uh, I have his book, How to Cheat at Everything. It's probably one of my first introductions to him. He's an English comedy magician. He's a card cheat, he's an actor, con man. Uh, a couple of his favorite pieces are uh, Card to Mouth. He has a very funny straight jacket escape. He's the author of 16 books, including Million Dollar Bunko, which covers cons and scams. He also starred in a off-Broadway show called Strange and Unusual Hobbies that ran for over eight years. He was also the consultant con man on the TV show White Collar that starred Matt Bomer a couple of years ago. So the Bermuda Trio, why is it called Trio? Uh, because it's a booklet that has three tricks in it, three tricks, uh, but they're all the same trick. It's all the same trick. It's variations on the single effect. The book is entirely written by uh, Simon Lavelle. It's all done in his voice. It's a nice folded paper uh, booklet. It's 12 pages. You got a nice full color cover and inside you have hand illustrations uh, drawn by Simon Lavelle. But you also get uh, a couple of YouTube videos as well. So Kmart Magic, Liam Montier is teaming up with Simon Lavelle and releasing a lot of his classic effects. The two have joined forces. And so whereas the booklet is all Simon Lavelle, his teaching, his voice. Uh, you're also gonna get a YouTube video with uh, Liam Montier. So you'll get two videos. Uh, you'll get the performance. So Liam's gonna walk you through the basic effect. So Twinkle is the very first trick, okay? And he's gonna show you how to do it. Uh, it's a three minute video where he and a female spectator go through the trick. It's a two deck trick. It's filmed in the big blind media red room that we've seen 100,000 times. And then you're gonna get an explanation video, which I think is almost eight, nine minutes. And uh, he's gonna explain the very first trick, Twinkle, to John Kerry. All right, so how does Twinkle go? Twinkle is a close-up trick with two decks. It's a two deck trick, kind of like a you do as I do, but not really, it's more of a prediction effect. Uh, the spectator gets one deck, they get to see all the cards, they're all different. Uh, there's no dupes, there's nothing added to these decks or taken away, it's a solid 52 deck. Uh, the spectator can cut the deck a couple of times. They then put the deck behind their back and cut the deck again, and they deal out the top three cards as their selections. The magician then does the same thing. Uh, they cut the deck a few times and they uh, deal off their top three cards. And then when you turn the cards end for end, the spectator's cards and the magician's cards match exactly. The second trick is called predicted twinkle. It starts off the exact same way, except this time, instead of the magician cutting the deck and selecting three cards, they merely fan the deck across the table and the three chosen cards are seen reversed in three different parts of the deck. The last trick is a variation again, and it's called one deck twinkle. Now this will look like the first effect done with uh, two decks. However, you only do this trick with one deck. So as you're taking the deck back from the spectator, there's a little bit of funny business where it looks like you're grabbing a second deck, where in fact, you're just taking out the first deck again. And like I said, the book has hand illustrations. All of the patter has all the patter you need. Simon Lavelle is gonna add all of his psychology. He's gonna add all of his extra ideas, his thoughts. And uh, like I said, the book is all done in his voice. And that covers all three tricks in that booklet. The video 
is an addendum that just teaches you the first trick, the premise, the, the trick that all the other tricks are based on. Pocket space, it's only two decks uh, for the most part. Well, for the two deck tricks, right? And then there's, like I said, there's nothing else added or taken away. Uh, setup and reset. Uh, I really can't tell you how to do setup and reset because if I told you that, then I would give away the method. How much practice does it require? It's super, 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 super easy. There aren't any hard slights in this at all. At all. There's nothing difficult. It's completely self-working. In fact, it's so self-working and so easy. I, I was watching the video the first time. I did figure it out. Um, my brain just kind of works that way, where I'm trying to decipher what's happening at the same time as I'm watching the effect. And it, it was easy to figure out for me. Um, so I think the way to break that right? The way to dispel that is to learn some very convincing false shuffles. Uh, when you get the spectator's deck out, give it some incredible false shuffles and then hand it to the spectator. And then when you get your deck out, same thing. Destroy that idea that the deck could be arranged in some way and just completely give it some really fantastic false shuffles. And then I think if you can do that, if you can pull that off convincingly, like if you, if you may be like, I don't know if I do... Uh, self-working tricks. I like to be a little bit more technical than that. Great. Apply the technical side of your skill to some false shuffles at the beginning as your convincers. And then the rest of the trick will play out uh, easily and you'll be able to focus on patter, presentation, and your personality. Positives. All right. So what are the positives? Simon Lavelle's charming style really shines through in this one. He's sharp. He's quirky. He has a peculiar sense of humor all the while with solid teaching and phenomenal advice. Uh, negatives, if I were gonna say anything negative about this, because uh, there's really nothing wrong with the trick, um, why is it called Bermuda Trio? I have no idea. Like I get the trio part because there's three variations of the same effect, but why Bermuda? Because the trick is called Twinkle. All three tricks are called Twinkle. So I don't understand why, if it's just a single effect, you're releasing it as Bermuda Trio? Like, I don't know, maybe Kmart Magic didn't think that Twinkle was a marketable name, but it's Simon Lavelle's trick and it's his name. Like, I don't, I just don't understand why they called it Bermuda. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Is it worth your money? It's only $20. $20, which is like the price you'd pay for a download and you get a download. You get two videos plus the booklet. I think it's definitely worth your money. Who would like this? Fans of Simon Lavelle, fans of Liam Montier, fans of self-working tricks, fans of two deck tricks. I think would get a big kick out of the Bermuda Trio. All right, that's everything I can say about the Bermuda Trio. I, of course, received this from Murphy's Magic Supplies, and I want to thank them for allowing me to have it. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it at your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.